good coffee. This is Russ. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to talk about power strips. First off, let me tell you, um, if you're part of the safety p p police patrol or you're a faint of heart type of person, you may not want to watch the end, but to the end of this thing because I will curl your toenails before it's done otherwise. But I, it, the biggest problem I have with power strips and you know, let's talk about power strips for a moment. People think that some people think they're just evil, but actually, I find them to be extremely handy to have for adding outlets in the right place. You just have to use your head when you mount things, and what you're mounting there, how much electrical power you're really going to draw on it, and that's a different story. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about just the simplistic need of mounting it so that it doesn't move. That way you can plug things in and out of it with one hand and that type of thing. And it stays put. So, power strips all have a couple of things in common. And one of the biggest things they have in common is how they mount to a wall. And I just hate it. They have these little keyhole slots. We've all seen them. I'm sure you've tried to mount one of these things. What a pain it is. And I've done it every way you can imagine. I've looked out there and researched on YouTube and have found lots of different ways that different people have done it. And I've, like I said, a lot of the ways I've done it myself for many years. I've taken and put this in the copier and made a copy of it with a copy machine. So I have a template. I put a piece of paper on here and use a pencil and make a template. I've even gone so far as take it apart, look at what it looks like on the inside, put it back together, and trust me, you don't want to take one of these things apart because this thing is worse putting back together than that G.I. Joe present I got for Christmas that time. And I had to try to put it back in the original box and wrap it again before she got up in the morning. Mom. So, it's tough to put one of these back together. Don't take it apart if you can help it. But trying to drill that hole through there blindly... That is not for the faint of heart either. Don't do that. But there is a method. There is an idea of doing this so that I can actually put a screw all the way through this thing. So that I can mount it with surface mounted screws. I don't know why the manufacturer don't give you a couple of holes like that to begin with. It would be so nice and be so easy for them to do it. But I don't know any manufacturer out there that gives you that. They all use only this. So anyway, the easy way I found to mount it is I got to looking at it, and the other thing these things all have in common is they use six screws to hold the two halves of this together. And they have one in each corner, and usually two right in the middle. And that's how they mount it. And I'm looking at those, and looking at the corner, and I actually have the screw out of this one, out of one of the corners. And if you look at it, first thing I notice is that the head of the screw is not surface mounted it's actually recessed down in there about halfway in the first half and but this whole area is is plastic reinforced for the head of the screw for the pulling force the other thing i noticed and i think about is the length of the screw that if you put it in its place and look at how far it comes it all but comes through the other side of this thing the screw is exactly the right length to get as much screw thread into i would guess plastic on the other half so that tells me that actually these corners are somewhat reinforced with plastic. And that in turn tells me there are no wires there. Because that's where the screw goes in there. So if you take the screw out, very simply, out of opposite corners, take your drill bit and your screw gun. And this is where the faint of heart it might want to turn this thing off. Or look the other way at least. And then put that in there and drill it until it goes all the way through and then you end up with a nice through hole where there are no wires I'm very confident I did not damage anything electrical inside of this thing and now I can put a screw hole in from the surface and surface mount this thing without any problem so so now I can just take a couple of two inch screws and put them in there, find a place where this goes, and mount this thing. Now, one more word of caution here. If you're going to put this in and mount this thing, do not mount it with your power screwdriver. Don't do it. Don't even get tempted. Don't do it. Speaking from experience, hand tighten that 
with a screwdriver, hand screwdriver only. Because this thing is a, made of plastic and it could very easily break this corner if you over torque it. But you can get it nice and tight to the right exact torque by using hand torquing only. And that's the way I would put them in. So I can't stress that enough. If you do that, you can mount this safely and you'll have a nice safe mounted power strip wherever you want it. Easy to mount, easy to take off if you ever decide you don't want it there anymore. So keep it in mind. You can use these if you want, but I tell you what, I have found since I started doing this recently, this works real well. And actually, I'm not afraid of it at all. So it's up to you. If you're not comfortable with this, don't do it. If you have any questions about this, any comments, you want to share how you've been mounting these things over the years, an easy way to mount them, I'd love to hear about it. Because like I said, I've done this about every way you can imagine. And so, this works really well for me, and quite frankly, I am personally very comfortable with doing it this way myself. But take a look at it, pay attention to what you're doing, make sure when you drill these holes, you're comfortable with drilling them in the places that you decide to drill through. But that screw hole is actually a good place to go and drill a through hole on that so that you can just surface mount this thing. Again, why don't the manufacturers just give you those holes to begin with is beyond me. It would make the job so much easier. But make your own. Uh, and hopefully, like I said, leave your comments about it. And I'm sure other readers would love to hear how you mount yours. Because there's got to be even other ways to mount this that would make it quick and easy. So chances are I probably have done it. Because <laughs> I've done it every way you can imagine, I think. So anyway, if you learned something here, or if you like this video... Hit that like button. It helps me know that I did the right thing. If you hit that dislike button, just leave a comment. Tell me why. So, most importantly though, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done here. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.